What's going on everybody? So in today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to create a really fun and delicious cocktail called the Spicy Flamingo. Uh, for those of you guys that like watermelon, y'all are in for a real treat. Um, but first, I want to give credit to where uh, it's due. Uh, this is not an original cocktail of mine. I found this recipe online, so shout out to Dan Greenbaum of New York City, veteran bar owner and mixologist. Um, all right, so now let's look at all the tools and the ingredients that you guys are gonna need. First, you're gonna need some sort of enclosed strainer for all your ingredients. Um, you're also gonna need something to strain the liquid out. Uh, the shaker that I got uh, is from Crate and Barrel and it has a built-in strainer, so really I'm good on that front. Um, you're also going to need a rocks glass uh, to serve the drink in as well. Uh, shout out to the wife for getting me the glassware from Well Told. All of my rocks glasses are designed uh, with the cities that I've lived in across the states. Um, you probably can't see it that well on camera, uh, but it's really a blueprint of Philadelphia. So shout out to Philly and the building. It's a pretty cool gift for the cocktail enthusiast. Now. Ingredients, fresh watermelon juice, uh, fresh lime juice, or bottled, which is fine as well. Um, I've got agave nectar here as well, and your favorite uh, Blanco tequila. Uh, I'm using Espolone. It's not super expensive. It's quality tequila that you can mix with fresh ingredients for a dope cocktail. And the garnish, which is gonna be chili salt. I use tagine, which you can get from your local grocery store. So, let's get started. We wanna start by putting all the ingredients into uh, the shaker. I like to start with the, uh, the non-alcoholic ingredients first, really in case I uh, mess up or something. So, let's start. We wanna do one ounce of fresh watermelon juice first into the shaker. So let's do one ounce. I'm gonna give it a little more love just because. All right, so, you know, what I did was I got fresh watermelon slices, put them into a blender and then strained the pulp out. Um, even without a cocktail, watermelon juice is just really delicious. I mean, as you can see, I've got, you know, at least one and a half mason jars full. Um, I keep it in the fridge for a few days and just drink it. You know, it's really good, really refreshing. So after that, half an ounce of agave nectar. Let's put that in there. It's about half an ounce. Get that all in there. All right, next we want to follow that up with uh, some lime juice, about half or three ounce of an ounce of lime juice. You know what? We are going to use the fresh lime juice here. I'd rather do that instead of the bottled. I mean, got it, why not use it? If you're gonna do anything bottled, I'd prefer the lime juice over the watermelon. The watermelon is the, you know, the really the key ingredient aside the tequila. You want to keep that as fresh as possible. Here we go. All right, and now we are going to add two ounces of Blanco tequila. Two. So what you haven't seen already is I placed ice into the shaker so I wouldn't have to <laughs> run back and forth from the freezer. After that, we got everything in here, right? We want to shake this with some ice for about 15 to 20 seconds. So let's have at it. After that, we're gonna pour everything out from the strainer into the rocks glass. Before I do that, 
We want to put a nice little ice cube in there as well. Here we go. Looks good, doesn't it? Now, this drink, this cocktail is called the Spicy Flamingo for a reason. So, after we get all that in there, what I'm gonna do now, we're going to garnish it uh, by sprinkling a bit of chili sauce over the ice before we serve it, so. I don't mind getting some on the table. It's just nice for presentation. Kampai, salute, cheers. Oh, that joint's delicious. All right, there you have it, people. A spicy flamingo. Again, shout out to Dan Greenbaum for the invention. If there are other cocktails that you'd like to see me make, Add them into the comment section, or if you have any interesting variation, share them below. So, hit the subscribe button, like, share, peace.